Well, here's what I love about aviation. When a fellow pilot is in need of transportation, all it takes is a phone call. Right behind me is my buddy Citation Max coming to my rescue in a brand new M2 as we head off to Oshkosh. Engine fire, right engine fire. Guys on the O'Hare video. Left engine fire, right engine fire. Oh my god. Left engine fire, right engine fire. Annapolis Executive Airport. Automated weather observation. One, one, four, six, Zulu. Weather, wind, calm. Yep. Thing in yours, right? You just go over a gate when you start it. Gotta wait till 12%. Really? So you're full FADEC? Yep. 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 I'm semi FADEC. Semi <laughs> Old school FADEC. Fake, fake, fake FADEC. Yeah. Set up for uh, three six. Yeah, that's okay. that was. Yep. Yep. That works just fine. All right. So you got the radios. You got. I got the, the radios. radios. Yep. Right, cool. Right, Executive traffic citation two Romeo Foxtrot taxiing out for departure runway three six. Oh my gosh! It took every <laughs> ounce of my brain power <laughs> for that radio call. How did it feel? You sold the Textron family, so it's... You, you know, know I, I actually really like this push-to-talk switch over. Do you have one like that in the Premier? Or no, no, we do not. Okay. We do not. Okay. I know there's some other brands that uh, will remain unnamed yes. that uh, yep. have it up here yep. or I elsewhere. But, you know, someplace other than Yoke is actually really nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you know me, I... Uh, I prefer not to hand fly. I only hand fly in an emergency, <laughs> at least according to my viewers. <laughs> so I think I can manage running the radios. Okay. 
So I can adjust the range on my side. Yep, so this thing here, you move over. So yep. now you have, you can see. Oh, I see, okay, gotcha. So it's all yours. Okay. And if gotcha. you want to go like full, yep. if you want to, you can do that or you can, you, can yep. you can split it on PFD and then split mode there. Okay. You want to do that. Uh, yeah. It's a nice bit, nice, colorful, big display. Does not look like there's a single soul out there this morning. No. See this deer fence you're talking about? Wow. Yeah. They really. Welcome to the wild, wild west, Max. <laughs> yeah. You're not in the big city anymore, right? Runway 36 is the calm and So, let me runway. see. V1 is 96, rotate 98. Yep. V2, 106. Yep. All right. Yep. 7,500 set. I just, I don't yep. know, I just bugged. Yep, that's fine. Whatever you think you know this airspace and way better than I would just start kind of pointing yourself up towards Kokomo. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, I'm good. Executive traffic citation to Romeo Foxtrot, departing runway 36, exiting to the north. Enjoying the two through our localizer, still maintain 3000. Any departure citation to Romeo Foxtrot? Two Romeo Foxtrot, Indy. Two Romeo Foxtrot, VFR off Indy Exec, looking for our IFR to Gary. The two Romeo Foxtrot, Spork 6663, not in. 6663 with a flash. Five out of whiskey. Maintain the far at 3,500 and fighting 280. Good. What's up? Gary's calling. Just. The two of them in Fox are in contact north of the executive airport, third of the Gary Airport via direct Kokomo. Actually, direct the Mir 6 departure, fly that heading and join the Mir 6 Kokomo, direct Gary. If I maintain 13,000, expect 16,000 to follow up. Two Romeo Fox strike, this heading to uh, intercept direct to Kokomo, then has filed 13,000 initially. The one Bravo here cut that grid from 121.3. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, six teams in. That was easy. Off we go. Yeah, it's you haven't flown around here, have you, that much, right? <laughs> Don't even need to write it down. <laughs> yeah. You know what they're going to give you. Yeah. Try contact Chicago Center 120.97. 120.97. Two running So we are clear to thirteen thousand right now. Is it thirteen or sixteen? Yeah, thirteen now. Sixteen is the final. Perfect. This guy will probably clear. Number three, Lee Alpha for the for further flight following contact Chicago Center 125.0. Chicago, citation to Romeo Fox Stride, 11,000, climbing 1, 3,000. I have a couple of frequencies, Wisconsin 3890, first view, maintain 30. Well, mine's the most important. Yeah, exactly. Chicago, first view, We're doing Oshkosh, we should get priority. Right. 440, Sierra Whiskey, Chicago Center, climbing, maintain 1, 6,000, south front altimeter, 3,000. Trying to just get her before we have to level off. Yeah. November 2, Romeo Fox Stride, Chicago Center, verified climbing to altitude. Out of 12,000 now, climb into 13,000, Romeo Foxtrot. And number two, Romeo Foxtrot, Chicago Center, climb and maintain 16,000. New Russian altimeter 3019, that's more than an hour old. Okay. Number five, Papa Charlie, did you call? 
So that would be interesting. Maybe he did clear us at 16, but it would be very atypical for approach or departure to clear us above 13. Okay. Still can't believe how close Gary is to Oh, it's right here. It's like in your face. So this is all the airspace that we would do our air work in out of Fort Wayne. Oh, wow. There's also some low level stuff in there, too. Crazy stuff, I'm sure. Yeah. You wouldn't want to fly through that area if it was hot. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's a MOA, you know, and you technically can't fly through it. It's not, not it is, practice. It's not smart. Then when you fly from Dallas to Naples, what's that area near Pensacola, right, that you used to do some training over? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. there's a huge, huge area out over the Gulf there. Yeah. And if you look and see how the Q routes are set up, they'll go from, uh, like, Harvey, New Orleans, and they'll go south of those areas. Okay. And then if you're going to stay up high, the routes go, if you're going to stay over the land, the routes go obviously up high, yeah. uh, up to the north around that space. So there's really the nothing the right through there. Yeah. 20 degrees to the right, 562 Papa Charlie. So nice flying airplane, Max. Yeah, she flies pretty good. Yeah, huh? yeah. Lots of fun stuff to look at. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get Ada's called up. All right. Sorry to commandeer things here. No chance of advisories, runway 304 board missing. Runway 2, Pappy lights out of service. Unlit stack 2.6 miles southwest, 905 feet in the cell. Ground control frequency is for vehicles only. Contact tower 125.6 for all aircraft services. Bird, near, Audi activity on or about the airport. I tell you, the pressure's on. Wind's calm, 10 miles visibility. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what I've noticed happens here. Okay. Is you end up a little bit high by the time you get handed off to Gary Tower. Really? So from a power management standpoint, yeah. we, we'll watch out for that. Okay. By the way, there's Grissom Air Force Base right there. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. So they've got KC-135 tankers there. My wife and I took a KC-135 to Bermuda out of there. Really? Yeah, on a Space A flight back in our in our younger days, probably when we were your age. Funny. And what's funny is I told my wife, I said, hey, for the officers, they roll in this, this pallet seating, so it's like your own first-class seats. Yeah. So we got there, and, I, and we get in the airplane, and it's nothing but web seating down each side. <laughs> and my wife looks at me, yeah. and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, so we end up taking a flight down to Bermuda. So there's only like two windows in the back of those okay. tankers, right? Really? So you're sitting in web seating yeah. with no visibility. And um, on our way down, we stopped in South Carolina and refueled some F-16s for like two hours. Okay. So we're up droning around. Yeah. We get to Bermuda and we're finally just like completely worn out, right? We're like, oh my gosh, just get me off the airplane. Yeah. We land. All of a sudden, spools back up. Oh, no. Touch and go. We do about eight touch and goes. Why? Somebody's getting some recurrency up oh, front. I think your wife is giving you a look like, are you serious? <laughs> that is wild. Remember two Romeo Fox Tractor, direct Gary Airport. Direct Gary to Romeo Fox. So you just see Gary here, what, like last week, right? Just over the weekend, yes. Okay. So do you find that's the easiest airport to get into downtown Chicago? It's the combination of it is a very easy airport. Midway is easy as well. Yeah. But uh, Gary has really cheap fuel. Yeah. So I can arrive, you know, and with low fuel and fell up and saved myself a lot of money. Yeah. And it's a negligible difference between Midway and Gary? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Midway's a zoo. Yeah, Midway is. Yeah. Absolutely. The times I've been in there. Yeah. Yeah, one of the, the videos coming up, I had to, they put me into like this tailwind so I could only start the downwind engine, right? Yeah. So I'm taxiing out and it was like 110 degrees. Oh my gosh. And the, they, I had to start the left engine, which the AC doesn't run off of. Yeah. So I'm like sweating bullets in the plane. And I'm hoping that she's going to taxi me kind of in this direction that I can start the other one yep. up. She puts me in a direct 30 knot tailwind so I couldn't start it up. Oh my gosh. So at some point I said, listen, is there any chance I could pull into the run up pad? just start up in yep. I'm like no hot. Right. And she's yeah no problem. But it was uh it was like twenty southwest places there. It was amazing. Yeah it, it's obviously a busy southwest hub. Yeah. No doubt about that. Yeah.
just a beautiful morning today up here at uh, 16,000 feet on our way to Gary to pick up our uh, flying buddy. Max and I enjoying some uh, good storytelling up here. Yeah. No lies being told. I can no, not you at all. That. Not at all. Nothing's being exaggerated. <laughs> but having a good time. Looking Fair forward to our day at Oshkosh. My mom was like, you got to get a picture of you and Greg in the airplane. So for her, we got to do it, Greg. Yep. Here we go. Awesome. She's like, you talk so much about Greg. You guys gotta get a picture. And number two, Romeo Foxtrot, just let him maintain 1 1000, south bend altimeter 3022. 11,000, 022, Romeo Foxtrot. Number Carrier 3621, 11,000, 11, 13,000. Richard 3621, Chicago, Senate, climb and maintain flight level 200. 200, Richard 3621. United 1499 cross calls that are maintained 12000. Wow. Okay, it's like there's no difference. It's, I know. It is amazing, isn't it? And there's no glare. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You weren't kidding about these. Yeah. I mean, they are legit. Wow. Envoy 3830. That's really. Chicago Center, Iraq, yeah. Three, zero, wow. Zero, That's really cool. Washington, the Washington, the good. Yeah. And you sold it. We'll stop by Randolph today. Yeah. <laughs> they said they were having some clearance models on sale. Oh, really? Okay, cool. So I like that it's got an AOA gauge too. Yep. That is something that I would really like to see incorporated into general aviation a lot more than it is. Really? I don't have one. You don't have one, really? No. Nope. Okay. You know, it computes AOA, it just doesn't give it back to the, uh, right, it doesn't give it back to you. I've been trying to get my scan to focus there, but I yeah. still find it hard where it's positioned right. to kind of get my, so I've been trying to... Yeah, it needs to be right up here. Yeah. I think the TBM or something it's there now, Chicago which makes, Center, but, but I, yeah. I don't know, for me it's like, you know, when you train, you, know, when you train in GA and you kind of move into different, like you have a certain scan, right? like when you're, especially landing, especially my landing's on incredibly great anyway, so I kind of have my, my kind of thing that works. Right. I don't know. Yeah, it is really a clean layout. So this setup will make it really easy for you to transition into the CJ3 plus. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's actually the same time frame, isn't it? Yeah. It's a two-day transition course. Yeah. Yep. Two Romeo Foxtrot contact south bend approach one two five point seven five. Twenty five seventy five Romeo Foxtrot. I do like it. Yeah. Southbound approach, citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot 11 7, leveling at 11. I'm 2 Romeo Foxtrot, southbound approach, 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 southbound yeah, that's, that's uh, pretty good. We'll see what happens once we're at 4,000. Yeah, they don't hold you there for a little bit. Well, I've had them drop me off at like three miles at 4,000 feet. Really? You know, and it's like, eh, this isn't going to work. Yeah. Even if they're bigger. Your speed brakes work pretty well. Get they do, they yeah. do. I guess the thing with the three zero is it's pretty much a straight in anyway. Correct. So it's just dive and drive time. It's pretty though, hazy but pretty. Got yeah, a little bit of a haze layer. I don't know if we're already past the windmills. There's a ton of windmills on the drive up. Is there? Yeah. Brian said you there at 7.30. Okay, that'll work so out perfectly. perfectly. Yep. Then yeah, we'll get fuel there. Yeah. Whatever you want. So then we don't have to worry yep. about Oshkosh fuel. Yep. All that jazz. Remind me when we go to, um, on the way to Osh, to at 10, put the Wi-Fi on so you can. Okay. Yep. 
so we can eat up your uh, my bandwidth. <laughs> yeah, your bandwidth and your your data for the month. <laughs> yeah. It's not that flat out here. You're saying it's flat. It's not, it's not, it's oh, it's pretty flat when you yeah. get down there. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Being courteous. I see trees. <laughs> well, I didn't say there was no trees. When I look at your panel, there's so many switches. There's like, no, 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 no. The audio panel, there's like 19 different pull and plugs, no? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the MU2 pictures. Okay, yeah, well, okay, well, nothing compares to that. The throttle quarter, and it has like so much. Do Romeo Fox 28 2, you have a good day. Chicago approach, citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, 4000 with it. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, Chicago approach, router, proceed direct 1 2, to center maintain the 3000, expect a visual approach from like 3 0. Direct to Wash 2 down to 3000, 2 Romeo Fox. Alright, 3000, Watsu, isn't it? So that was good of you to have the uh, ILS called up there. Yeah, I try to do it just for like vertical. I don't know. Yeah. Well, this uh, give you a uh, Mike Chicago approach. Well, did this give you a visual approach also. Does no. yours? Does yours give you? Oh, you yes. can do that the FAF thing that I've seen you do. Yeah, you, extension. yeah, you can do. Uh, yeah, you can create a visual approach. That's nice. Do you use it a lot? I, I always have guidance to a runway. Yeah. Yeah. Good for white plane. Right. Oh yeah, I and all the New York approach frequencies. Yeah, everything else. New York, there's like 17, you know, 70 different sectors. Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. You can call it whenever. What do you like? When do you normally like to call it? Probably now. I'm not really paying attention. Approach station two, rail Romeo Fox field inside. Two Romeo Foxtrot, thank you for the little approach runway 30 here. Clear to visual. All right, and cleared the visual. Cleared the visual. Hit uh, landing clearance with tower when we switch on over. Yep. We switch to Chicago out there. That's beautiful. All right, coming in to land at Gary, there is Chicago out in the distance, right there. Although you may not be able to see it. Picking up our buddy Brian and then heading on up to Oshkosh. For two Romeo Fox, try contact Gary Tower 125.6, we'll see you. Two Romeo Fox, we'll see you later. Gary Tower, citation two Romeo Fox trot on a five mile final run. Uh, Take two Romeo Foxtrot, Gary Tower, runway 30, third land. 30, quick land, two Romeo Fox, we're about to be a mile bottom, actually. Yeah, still kind of getting used to what I'm looking at, but it's pretty intuitive. Yeah. Yeah, I always go between the full PFD and then splitting. You can split this also, too. But yeah, I mean, this this has enough real estate that, that splitting it up like this is yeah. more than adequate. Uh, what uh, what airport are you headed to? 
Alpha Oscar Hotel. Alright, we got three green, left 35, speed breaks are down. Right, what is that? Name it. Oh boy. It is Lima Allen County. And remember, uh, 7 Kilo Papa, the re direction in your head looks like uh, maybe South Bend on 118.55. Uh, South Bend, 118.55, appreciate it. That's beautiful seeing Chicago. Yeah, that's wildlife skyline up there. Minimum. Minimum. around here. to pick up Brian, but we ran over him. Yeah. So we're going like, to keep on going. Duck. I'm yes. like, duck. I'm like, watching. I'm like, are you going to duck? Power two, Romeo. Fox yeah. Driver. Request me to take off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Gary Tower, Experimental 5, 9 or 9 or Delta Tango. Hey P1D fans, thanks for riding along leg one of our trip to Oshkosh 
be sure to head on over to Citation Max's channel as we continue our flight up to Oshkosh. There's some really crazy stuff that happens on this leg, so be sure to go over there and check it out. I've included the link here at the end of this video. I think you'll be surprised. As always, thanks for riding along, and we'll see you on the next one.